Because Augustine seems to place the reality of time inside the mind, it is tempting to read him, as some scholars have, as a forerunner of Immanuel Kant, who famously distinguished between the world as it is and the world as we perceive it. For Kant, time is a conceptual framework that we construct and impose on reality in order to make sense of the world. Like God or the world itself, time is a mental grid manufactured in the mind, an ordering concept that enables us to arrange, explain, and account for that which we encounter all around us. And it's tempting to read Augustine as a proto-Kantian because Augustine seems to reduce time to a mental state, to an understanding within the mind, a distension of the mind. But this is a fundamentally mistaken way of reading Augustine. As we shall see, Augustine had a very solid sense of time as an extra-mental reality. In his commentary on Genesis, for example, time does not begin when human beings are created to think about it. Why then all this emphasis on the evanescence of time? Augustine's point is to show us that we never have time at our disposal. It is not ours to claim and control and command. The evanescence of time reminds us that here we have no continuing city. We are ephemeral beings, radically dependent on the God who sustains us moment by moment out of His sheer favor and love. Augustine wants to show us that our hearts will never find rest in the vanishing flux of time, but only in the mercy and the grace and the patience of time's Creator.